I've been in cars with the Stita Stop the Hop, and I'm, I will tell you that this car handles and feels different. The Stita Stop the Hop kit is good. This is better. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a short video. So you guys know that I recently installed the CB010 kit and the 762 kit from BMR. And this video is basically gonna to touch up on my thoughts uh, post install. How does it drive? Well, I wanna talk about NVH. I wanna talk about how has the car changed as a whole after the install because believe it or not this is a bigger upgrade than it might seem like it is on paper it's pretty significant so let's dive into the video talk about it let's go all right i've got my exhaust in quiet so you guys can hear me talk let's make sure that nobody hits us as we back out of the driveway here's the first test a little bump feels like stock it's always a good sign so it has been four or five days since I've actually done the installation of this kit and I didn't do a video right away, uh, initial impressions, because I didn't want there to be like a placebo effect. You know, every time we install stuff, um, it seems like the car's always really, really great. And I really wanted to just be honest. I wanted this to be an honest review. So for me, what I did was I started with the CB010 kit from BMR and I really did that just to combat any wheel hop, just a little bit of, you know, the movement that you would get in the IRS cradle itself and help uh, locate those subframe bolts just a little bit better. And I will say that they do a significant job. And especially when you consider the cost, you know, per, per benefit, um, it's definitely there. You know, the kit's around a hundred bucks there about, and they do a phenomenal job. I knew that I was gonna do the 762 kit, so I just passed on the 005. But you can definitely stack all of these three things on top of each other. BMR has designed them that way so that they do so but with the 010 kit no nvh the car felt like stock just helped a little bit of wheel hop like i was talking about but we wanted to step things up a little bit and go with the 762 kit so both products have a very straightforward installation i did a video of the 762 kit and the 010 kit i'll link them all above but very very easy uh, try to keep those videos as detailed as possible. So if you guys have any questions, just watch the videos and uh, it should be able to help you out. So it mounts in different spots compared to like a uh, Steve that stopped a hop, okay? And I think the BMR has nailed it. I think that they had a lot of R&D that went into this product. You know, they're not typically a company that just pushes products as soon as, a, you know, a new model year is released. Um, they sit on their products a little bit longer than maybe some others and they really are indeed this stuff. All right, so since the installation video got published, I've had a lot of questions about NVH and how does the car feel. I'm gonna tell you, the car feels pretty much like stock, which is a very good thing, you know, because what we've done essentially is hard mounted the IRS cradle to the car itself, to the body of the car itself. So we're talking about near 100% of no movement. The main purpose of the 762 kit is really to strengthen the IRS and uh, make it just, you know, this whole package and it does so very well. I've been in cars with the Stita Stop the Hop and I'm, I will tell you that this car handles and feels different in a, in a very positive way. That's something that you should really take to heart. The Stita Stop the Hop kit is good, this is better. Uh, BMR just mounts up a little bit different and I think that it's a, a better design and you can certainly feel that when you're driving. So the very first drive after the installation of the 762 kit, uh, going about five mile an hour, I was shocked. And I'm not BSing this, you know, this is, I'm not getting paid to say this, none of that. I can literally feel the difference at like five miles an hour. Uh, my throttle input seemed to have improved a little bit in just normal mode, which was it just incredible. Um, I, it was immediately apparent that the car was was a little bit faster and just more knuckled down. The steering, when I go into a corner, it's nuts. Uh, the steering is, it's very tossable. It's just reactive as hell. It's very, very jerky. It's immediate. You don't have the IRS in the back, you know, floating around with soft bushings. The thing is knuckled down to the car. It moves with the car. Your handling is better. It feels good. A little fast, a little turn there. I'm gonna tell you that this is solid. I am 100% confident in this car. And I was already before, because I have Magna Ride, 
the performance package, you got the better tires, but I'm telling you that everything is just so much better now. And there's no trade-off at all. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's almost like how dare somebody make such a great product. But here's a very fast one. It's, it's fun. No, no tires squealing, no nothing, no fighting for grip. You know, the, the back end of the car just tracks with the front and it's working in unison now. It's working together, it's great. And that's really important because this kit is not just good for the drag strip, okay? It's also good for road racing and, and stuff like that, you know, track work. You know, will this help 60 foot? I mean, maybe you are getting rid of movement you know, but 60 foot, there's a lot that goes into a 60 foot. So that should please a lot of you guys out there. The 762 kit is not specifically designed just for the drag strip. Uh, you road course guys out there, this is gonna work for you too. So again, it takes a cradle and it just hard mounts it pretty much to the car, but there's no downside. The only thing that I have experienced in VH wise is if you hit a speed bump, you have a little bit more of a thud uh, that you feel, not necessarily here, but that you feel from the back of the car and it's just because you, you have less bushing movement uh, from all that rubber mess, rubber mess that's back there. See, I'm hitting some uneven stuff there and you don't hear any suspension creaking, you don't hear any knocking, any banging, anything like that. The steering feel has improved, it's, it's awesome. Um, I can take corners now faster because I don't have the IRS trying to keep up with the front end. It's it's absolutely crazy. The car tracks straighter. It's it's glorious. So there is no negatives to this kit. You know, you know what does this thing cost? Well, right now it costs about two hundred dollars because it's kind of like an introductory price. And from what I know, depending on how well these things sell, the price is either going to stay the same or it might increase. So if it increases, I still think that it's going to be worth its weight in gold. I really do. I think that the kit is great. You know, it looks so simple when you install it and you would think that it wouldn't work as well as it does, but I'm telling you it does. It's, it's crazy. Um, this is one of the best modifications that I have done to this car, period, or any other car. It's, it's kind of like back in the day when you had your like 99 04s and then you put like subframe connectors on the car. You know, it's such a simple thing that just dramatically changes the, the vehicle, makes it handle better, straight line better, all of it. You know, it's a win-win. All right, we're gonna test out some NVH now. We got some railroad tracks that are pretty ridiculous coming up here. We're gonna see how much noise uh, this, this whole thing makes. So I do wanna say that if you're interested in saving some money on this kit, go to bmrsuspension.com, use code Xander7. Again, I've worked with them. We worked out a deal so you can save a little bit more money than you would maybe anywhere else uh, since you're watching this video. So definitely go check it out and use code Xander7. That applies to all of their products, not just the CB762, okay? Anything you want to order from them, you know, I think you might actually get free shipping in there. I'm not sure, but here's our first railroad track. Solid. No creaks, no pops, no nothing. Steering is immediate. The whole car feels so great now. Steering is like, it's just instant. All right, so that's gonna draw up a conclusion to this, this video here. I think that this kit is worth its weight in gold. I think that you should buy it. Use code Xander7 when you do. And uh, I think that there's no drawbacks. You know, road noise is the same as it was pretty much. It might have increased just barely. Uh, harshness. So I just hit that bump there, it felt fine. Um, there's no weird creaks or pops. There is literally no bad stuff that I can say about this product, it's it's great. Job well done, BMR. Uh, keep rocking on making great Mustang stuff. And um, other than that, you guys stay safe in the roads and I will see you guys later. Test <laughs> driver. How do you feel about this? this kit the suspension since we've been since before and after um, pre post install the ride is smoother the ride is smoother yeah. i don't know if it's smoother well it's not like bumpy but i get much better you're not bouncing it's it's not bumpy i guess i 
guess that's what I'm trying to say. It's not like it doesn't hop. It doesn't hop? It doesn't hop. So maybe more just connected. Yes. Yeah. She has like no mechanical knowledge at all. She's like a normal person that but doesn't cars. know anything about <laughs> It doesn't know anything about cars. <laughs> she doesn't. She probably couldn't even change a tire. Um, actually, I can thank you. Oh, okay. My daddy taught me how to change a tire and oil. So.